hi guys i'm here today to do the video called draw my life and i want to let you guys in my life so you get to guys know me a bit more so yeah let's get done so yeah i was born in an old hospital called birch hill where there's a big clock on top like look from the movie back to the future it was kind of freaky at the time because obviously i don't remember but i usually go there to see it sometimes and yeah it was freaky and second of all i want to say that i was born at 5 30 in the morning yeah in the morning am you might guys might think that's early but really that's not early for me because i came out six days late i was born six days late yes yes i was and after after i was born i lived mostly at my grandmother's house where it was kind of awesome because I had all my cousins. I don't remember much, but I just see pictures and how much fun I was really having because all my cousins would be there, my family relatives. But there's one big problem that my mum and my grandmother, they wanted to call me two different names. So there was Zayn and then there was Bilal. And my mum obviously, she said, nah, I'm calling him Zayn. So yeah, I was in the middle stuck. Obviously, I didn't know I was, I was baby yet. So, yeah, Zayn, my name now. And what else that's happened on since then is that we moved out and we went to the flats and we lived there for one and a half year. And so we do a lot of fun there, obviously. And we made I made new friends. Like fa people around me, new house, new houses, a new environment. But I was still young. But I used to love going to the the park right across our flats, where there were swings, and I always used to go on the swings and just, just stay on there for hours and hours, and just never come home. Like dad used to be with me, and he used to just rock me and swing me about on there for like hours and hours. But I never used to do anything else. So that's just what I used to do most of the time. But then another one and a half year later was called we moved houses again we got our own house and it was a nice house because it was me my dad and my mom and i was still the youngest i used, still used to get that load all that attention and it was quite fun for two years like i had my own bedroom and it was just awesome Once there was a time where <laughs> I don't know how to say this really, that I was still young and I got the you know the TV remote and I hit my dad on the head with it. I don't know why, but he dropped me on the floor by accident. So yeah, if I was you say I was dropped, yes I was dropped. So don't don't this. Another thing is in my bedroom I used to love Spider Man, so I got the Spider Man poster uh, the one that he's climbing the wall and i used to love spider-man during the day but at night i used to <laughs> freak out a lot i always ask my mom mom i want can you sleep with me because i just couldn't do anything like that like i was scared of spider-man might come and just, like web me to death or something <laughs> it got all better in time i took the poster off yeah and Another phase in my life was when my sister was born. I was quite different at that time because I was much older and much, I don't say I'm mature because like I was still young. But yeah, my sister was born and she got most of the attention that I used to get from all the most of the family. So it was kind of hard. So, yeah, like, there used to be me, who used to play with my own toys, I used to stay on one side, but then there's my mom and dad and my sister, who were, like, always around each other, and I used to be on one side, because I, I didn't really like my sister, because she used to get all the attention, and she's a newborn, I didn't know her, but, yeah, I didn't used to like her. But now, obviously, she's different. So, yeah, I was jealous exactly i was jealous but then after time went on and i changed obviously 
everyone changes. I started protecting her. I don't know how or why I used to start protecting her. Like, I didn't let anyone else touch her or anyone pick her up because she's still a baby. I was like, no, she's my sister. <laughs> yeah, my mum's told me this. Like, I used to be, always used to be, like, angry at everyone. Like, no, only me. But I think that's just, like, brother and sister love, isn't it? Yeah. And, like, there were no children after that, obviously. Just me and her. But then, after I got older a bit more, I had to choose schools, obviously, primary schools. And there was different, different schools I went to because different, different matters happened between in my life that I had to move. In the same Rochdale, obviously, but just different, different schools. But there's one that was like the best. My mom always choose the best one. And that was St. John's because there was a multi race school and there was no racism at that time. And I made a lot of friends and I. Obviously, I liked a lot of teachers because they they helped me a lot, and obviously, it's still awesome. <laughs> yeah, but after that, the problem started. No child or nothing. High school. Yeah, high school. I got bullied a lot over people picking my names or taking mick out of me because how I looked. And I used to be alone most of the time I did have friends but they didn't really want to be with me because they thought they might get bullied as well but yeah I used to get quite upset over this and yeah but in year 9 everything changed like, I, ha I started a new, a new class everyone knew me but I started making new friends and really there were good friends at that time like I always just think that if I do mess about or something, no one will actually try and bully me. They always just think about how bad I am or something. So, yeah, the last one's me. The sick hair. Awesome. Yeah, so we always used to chill. We always used to mess about. And just stuff like that, really. But I never used to study. I don't know why that was a problem with me, but I always wanted to mess about now because I made new friends you, you, you want to take the attention off myself don't be a geek so yeah when I started studies I never really revised or anything no exams or nothing I never listened to the teacher we mess about uh, stuff like that obviously etc and then when two years later when the actual exams got through and it was year 11 and there was like the final GCSE exams I was freaking out at the same time but I didn't know what to do and I knew that I was gonna fail but I didn't want to because I knew that I made a mistake by just like choosing friends over my own stuff so yeah I did fail my GCSEs some things I did good some things I didn't but yeah I failed but then college came through and most of my friends who I thought I might be with in the college but they didn't really. I was not left but they all drifted away actually. I just seen who really my friends are and who really stays with you. Then yeah, college started and there was loads of colleges I had to apply for but I didn't get them the ones I wanted to because they were full and I applied late. So I went to the one nearest to me and my parents said, yeah, just go to that one. So yeah, I do a course and it might be difficult, but it's worth it. I didn't have no friends, I was nervous on the same day, but then I met a guy who, who was in my class and he said, hey, what's your name? And so then obviously I said, Zen, bro, my name's Zen. And <laughs> we became friends since from there and we always chilled together and from there I became friends with loads of other people and now like I've got a click I'm joking now click I'm just like friends with good people but then after that I started interacting with YouTube a bit more watching a lot of YouTubers and I wanted to do it myself as well like I wanted to do something that I can make other people smile as well so inshallah I do that and I wanna put a smile to everyone's faces 
Obviously, I think I, I'm one of them people. So yeah, this is Zan's Draw My Life, and so I hope you enjoyed the video. Obviously, and I love you guys, and just I hope I get more subscribers and more people watching my videos, so I can put a smile on everyone's faces. Thanks for watching, and bye. See you later. Bye.